Welcome to the channel. This is Gino's Garage. I'm Jeff. Yeah, we'll explain that later. Um, so we're working on our 1984 Wander Lodge here. We're doing some work on the hydraulic system, so I'll bring you guys in and show you. So normally right here it'd be the hydraulic tank and lines going to the fan. So we're going to be upgrading all that to a, a more modern system with a, uh, a uh, variable contr fan control. So it's off of a later model Bluebird essentially. But uh, so we're going to be putting that in. And then also I'm going to relocate this tank. I think I'm going to put it further forward up there. It's going to make it harder to change the filters, but it'll get it out of the way from most of the other time for working on the engine because we're going to be changing out the injectors. Um, and when this tank is here, it's really hard to get in there. Maybe I'll try to overlay a video where showing that where that tank normally sits. Yeah, that's what we're working on. We've got all the bunch of the lines disconnected and we're gonna keep on keeping on. So here's the tank. And if you haven't seen these uh, reservoir tanks and what they look like inside, so these three filters here stack inside. And you take this off and they stack up underneath of this. And that holds it. The controls for the controls for these turns the fan on currently is this guy. So this is a solenoid here and it either takes the, the pressure line so PR pressure line and it takes and either sends it back to the tank by this or sends it to the fan when this is actuated. So it's normally when it's de-energized it's sending it to the fan so that way it fails on if it ever fails so that way it fails and the fans always run so you have to actually de-energize it to or you have to energize it to actually turn the fan off so we got that apart and then there's a high pressure filter housing there and that's in the back That guy right there is the high pressure filter with that little gauge on it. So we're gonna be pulling all that off and replacing it. Well, actually the high pressure gauge, I'm, I think I'm still gonna keep that. Um, but we gotta pull this fan motor off. And I've got a new fan blade, a little uh, more aggressive fan blade that moves more air. So I'm gonna replace that as well. It's not really seeing where I'm working, is it? Back there. So I'm pulling these bolts off of this guy. Oh, it's probably recording through that thing. Can't hear me. Still stuck in there. There it goes. All right, now we'll put this guy out. Maybe.
there we go. The stuff tore apart, and we got the new. This is the new fan motor installed. I got the hub on there. I had to modify the key a little bit to fit this one. The key was a different size, so I just ground the key down to fit. So this is a this is a control unit on the fan now. And it's got two little lines that run off of it that control the fan. So I gotta find out and look up which port does what. So I can uh, get it plumbed in correctly. So we got the new fan motor in place here, test fit. And we ran into a few snags. The, the new fan blade I bought actually hits this these rails so I've got to get they make a fan blade with an offset in it that'll push it out uh, about three quarters of an inch so that should give me the clearance I need to clear these rails uh, so that will fix that and then we've got the reservoir mounted back there you can see every time I put my finger there it messes it up but yeah so the reservoir is going to live back there now so that's going to free up this whole opening here give you a lot more room to get in to get to the valve cover and be able to access this whole area so that's ultimately pl the plan i've got to work on getting all the lines routed to everywhere they got to go and that's going to be the last little bit of this is trying to figure out how to get all these lines rerouted since the, uh, the tank is back there instead of right here. The tank used to sit right here in this little hole right here. So that return, this is a return for the power steering. So that's just going to turn around and that goes to the, to the reservoir. So that's the high pressure oil filter so the oil comes from the pump off the engine which is right back in there and comes off of there goes to that high pressure filter it'll come off that high pressure filter and then come to this 
fan motor in the port. Then there's actually a little bypass line and then the return comes off the back side of the fan back here. So that return will come off of there and then go back to the tank. Well actually, sorry, it'll come off of there, go to the cooler, and then go back. That's the oil cooler on the front of the radiator. And go from there back to the tank. So yeah, that's how it's gonna be plumbed. I'll uh, try to see if I can maybe put a diagram up of this in the video of how it's going to be plumbed. But that's, uh, that's all for this weekend. We're going to have to keep on it next weekend and see if we can get it wrapped up.